Please welcome Ronnie Gamtsu, Tel Aviv Medical Center. I am proud to nominate Nano24, a breakthrough spin-off company from my hospital, co-founded by Shapira and Arbor with my full support. Just imagine a drug smarter than steroids without any side effects. A drug that is the cure for the cytokine storm. It regulates it. Cytokine storm is an urgent unmet need without any existing medical therapy. Shapira and Armour are the perfect team to lead Nano24. Together, they've developed Exo CD24, a novel platform consisting of genetically manipulated exosome that combines two cutting-edge technologies, C24, a new immunomodulator, and exosomes that serve as the ultimate natural carrier. The cytokine storm was the main cause of most death in the recent pandemics. With Nano24, we are going to be ready for the next pandemic in the next few years or years to come. Breaking the wall of cytokine storm-related death. Shiran Shapira, Nano24. 2019 was a very good year, until December, a dark period in the history of the world, the COVID-19 pandemic. Millions of new cases emerged with no medical therapy. In March 2020, on the verge of despair, Eureka, the light bulb, the penny dropped. We have the solution, and not for COVID-19 that needs no therapy in most of the cases, but to its most important complication and its main cause of death, the cytokine storm, a major health concern with 80 million new cases annually, extremely high morbidity and more than 20 million deaths. And I will emphasize, it was the main cause of death in seven out of the last eight global pandemics and most probably also in the next one to come. Cytokine storm means an uncontrolled hyperactivation of the immune system caused by excessive and unrestrained release of many different types of cytokines and chemokines. It has plenty of etiologies that lead to ample of diseases. But no matter what the cause may be, virus, bacteria, pancreatitis, or to which disease it leads to, COVID, ARDS, sepsis, autoimmune disorders, ExoCD24 is the solution. It efficiently modulates cytokine storm, nanotechnology in its best. LC24 is a novel platform that's based on two cutting-edge technologies. C24 that we have been working on for the last three decades, the classical endogenous immunomodulator as a drug, and exosomes as the ideal natural drug carriers. Exosomes are tiny vesicles secreted by all cells in our body and responsible for cell-cell communication. We are the only ones who know how to genetically manipulate exosomes to overexpress CD24. It is a real game changer. A single drug, the same formulation for many different diseases. Each indication has extremely high substantial global market, reaching one trillion dollar. Now, it is pretentious to claim that there are no competitors. There are steroids, but they shut down the entire immune system, interfering with pathogen clearance, and have so many long and short-term side effects. Or inhibitors that specifically target a single type of cytokine or chemokine, but out of the entire tremendous storm, it is not practical nor efficient. We do better. With a unique mechanism of action, FOC24 acts upstream and broadly suppresses its cytokine storm without any side effects. And we don't shut it down. The drug efficiently discriminates between self and non-self, therefore only reverts the immune system back to normal, to its physiological state. Now, we are a spin-off company, but we have the know-how. We have 30 years of academic research, professional and dedicated team, clinical unit, and a strong international scientific advisory board. Around $20 million and remarkable achievements have been secured so far, never described before. Only six months from idea to first in human trials, with full adherence to all regulatory requirements at each and every step in the process. Now, phase 1b 2a was completed in Tel Aviv Medical Center during the peak of the pandemic, or if I may call it, global hysteria. Then, we raised a widespread attention across the globe, from Inner Mongolia to the New York Times, ambassadors, presidents, prime ministers. One of them was Mr. Mitsotakis, the prime minister of Greece, came to Israel asking for our drug. 
During a press conference between the Turkish and the Israeli PM, the Greek government announced in an unprecedented move that it will fully fund phase 2B trial for Exodus 24 in three medical centers in Athens. This trial was technically completed in two months. Shortly after the next trial was initiated, and now we are engaged in the ultimate one, recruiting ARDS patients from all causes and stages, comparing our drug to placebo. And as for today, 224 ARDS patients have already been treated with Exodus 24 with exceptional safety profile, over four years of follow-up, and very promising efficacy. Now, 20 years ago, when I first stepped into Professor Arbor Lab, I had a dream to find a cure for cancer. I put this dream on hold because now I'm going to achieve another one. Exodus 24 is a life-changing drug. It is produced effectively, rapidly, at low cost, and its truth of administration by inhalation also provide a huge clinical advantage because the drug can be given by anyone and everywhere, at home, hospital, and even in space. So what next? We need to raise another $60 million to make it all the way. Then we can definitely make a difference, improve <coughs> global health, save millions of lives, but ultimately break the wall of the cytokine storm-related death. <laughs> okay, let's go with the questions right away. We have one here with Andreas first, looking at everybody. Okay, we have one. Thank first. you so much. Uh, this obviously could be big, and cytokine storms are involved in, in, in sepsis, septic shock, and many other fields, but notoriously, trials have been very difficult. Uh, t tell us about the, um, the, the primary endpoint for a pivotal phase three. For phase three, actually, we are talking about the improvement of respiratory failure or improvement, uh, admission to ICU, mechanical, the need for mechanical, non-mechanical ventilation, morbidity, but most importantly, mortality. Next question. Yes, Frank, please. In principle, I have a similar question at the phase two, uh, already finished in, in Greece. Was mortality the primary uh, outcome? Not primary, secondary uh, efficacy, but actually we are currently in another phase 2B when we're comparing our drug to placebo. Yeah. So we don't know the, the answer yet, but in the Greek uh, trial, we already know. Actually, it was uh, compared to historical controls, and we saw um, less mortality, morbidity, the need for ventilation, admission to ICU, the respiratory rate, and oxida oxidation saturation. So... We have and a these efficacy endpoints have been significant? Yes. Okay. Okay. For once, the jury is not, uh, totally no question. This is great. So if in the audience who have questions, I am open to it. No question. It was a very clear thing. Straightforward. No one? Three? <laughs> two? One? Wow. Super <laughs> clear you. pitch. Thank you very much.